Of course, the day after I make some content showing exactly what the alternatives to the missing net graph in CS2 are, CS decide to go and release an update that adds not exactly the same feature, but a very useful command that would have been perfect to include in this video from just literally a few hours ago. Anyways, in this video, I'll show you the best alternatives to net graph that we have in CS2 as this command isn't officially added. Net graph is that useful block of information in the bottom right or bottom left corner that tells you about your ping, frames, etc., and can be incredibly handy to have while you're playing the game. So without further ado, let's start with the brand new command that they've added cq underscore net graph underscore problem show auto. What exactly is this command and how do we use it? Well, I'll head into game first and I'll show you exactly what it does. Opening up the console, we can type in cq underscore net graph. And if we hit one or true, you'll see the net graph pops up in the top right hand corner. A bunch of blocks flying across to the side. Green and blue is good. Red underneath it shows packets dropped or lost or information lost. Nobody really knows what it means as Valve haven't disclosed exactly what each little thing means and how it can be interpreted. But essentially, red is bad, green and blue is good, and the more green and blue that's going on vertically, the more that's happening on the server at the time of you playing, right? So what is this new command? Well, cq underscore net graph problem show auto space one or space true enables a new feature, but it's hidden. In order to see what this is, we need to cause some kind of network lag or lose packets, have high ping, etc, etc. You can see your ping by holding tab and looking here, but you'll see eventually with a bad network connection, such as using a distant Wi-Fi source or your network really struggling, you'll see it pops up in the extreme top right corner. To simulate this, I'll simply start two or maybe three speed tests in order to see exactly what happens. All right, so there we go. They're running. You should see my ping spikes and some packets are dropped. There we go, 12 ping. And now you can see it here. Loss, 1.4% to 1.4% ping, and that's it. This is the new bit of information that's useful to see, especially if you have an unstable internet connection. And of course, it's nice to know without having to tab out, hold tab, or anything like that. It's nice and not invasive as it's hidden away in the top right corner, hopefully not too distracting during gameplay. So I'd absolutely recommend that you run CQ Netgraph Problem Show Auto Space 1 in your console right now in order to get this feature to pop up or whenever your internet is lagging or there's issues detected. You don't you don't need CQ Netgraph to be one as well, so you don't need to worry about those blocks distracting you in gameplay. If I rerun these speed tests, you should see my ping shoot up, and eventually that bit of text reappears in the top right with the blocks flying next to it. That's it. That's all you really need to know about this brand feature. It's useful to have and at least nice and hidden away in until your network's actually having issues, so I absolutely recommend you run this. You don't need to run CQ Netgraph at all, which is great as it can be super distracting through normal gameplay. So on with pretty much what was in the video yesterday. If you'd like an FPS counter in CS2, much like you had in CSGO with Netgraph, we have a few options. The first one I'd recommend you can see in the extreme top left, and that's the Steam Overlay. Simply hit Shift Tab, click on the Settings, and on the In Game tab, you should find In Game FPS Counter, set this to top left and enable it here. You can also set this to top right or wherever else. Enabling this high contrast color makes it a lot easier to see, otherwise it's a gray and it's pretty difficult to see in most situations. If we leave high contrast color on, it's a nice bright green. You can put it in the top right to match with your CQ net graph, etc. On top of this, there is another command that you can use to show your FPS count in game, though it's only really useful while you're benchmarking different settings and not through normal gameplay as it's just covering too much of the screen. I'll open the console and type in cl underscore show fps space one and you'll see this bright bit of text on my screen now. If I use find cl show fps, you'll see exactly what it does. We can use it to draw an FPS meter at the top of the screen. One is for just FPS, two is for smooth FPS. So I'll run it again, but with two this time, and you'll see there's a ton more information. This is far too much, but it shows you useful things like average frames over 60, 240, and 1000 frames, so you can get a better idea of what your frame rate is over a larger portion of time, as well as the variability between frames, etc., etc. This is super useful information if you're trying to debug exactly what's wrong or benchmark your settings to get the best graphic settings for your system. You can run this with three instead to show information about the server, but in most cases, this is pretty much useless. And finally, four shows it slightly differently in green text and apparently logs it to a file where you can see your average FPS, milliseconds for each frame, as well as the server's milliseconds per frame and whatever it's logging to. Anyways, personally, I'd usually leave this 
this off as it takes far too much of the screen, but one and four are good options. If you like just a little bit of text on your screen, one is going to be the least invasive, but unfortunately it does show you the map name as well. Also, it updates far too quickly to see what's going on. That's instead where the Steam overlay comes in. And of course, that pop up in the top right, that is brand new. That's really it. We unfortunately don't have a one to one solution for the old net graph from CSGO in CS2. These are the best solutions that we have currently. The Steam overlay for FPS, these two commands, as well as the one brand new command added literally today. Anyways, that's really it for this super quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.